Hey guys, and welcome back to another RuneScape 3 video. Today we will be training thieving by pickpocketing crooks, ikal knights, and the Garden of Karid. This training method unlocks at level 83 thieving, which makes us a great option for working to get level 99. This method is one of the highest XP per hour rates in the game for thieving, and is the method I recommend for anyone wishing to get level 99, 120, or all the way to 200 mil. This method will grant players over 830,000 XP per hour with 100% pickpocketing success rates, as long as you have all of these unlocks, which I will go over now. The most important unlock to have is the Sticky Fingers Relic Power activated through the Archaeology Monolith. This Relic Power increases your pickpocket rate to a 50% faster rate than normal. It costs 2,000 crow notes and 100 monolith energy and is definitely necessary in order to get the 830,000 XP per hour rate. The next unlock that you should be using is the Five Finger Discount Aura. It costs 230,000 loyalty points, grants you a 15% increased pickpocketing success rate. The next unlock is the Crystal Mask Spell through the Ancient Magic Spellbook. This gives you a 5 minute buff that adds 15% to your success rate. In order to get Crystal Mask Spell, it requires the Light Within quest to be done. Use this with the Light Form Prayer to effectively double the boost, giving you a 30% buff to success rate. So what we're going to be using is the Light Form Prayer while we have that spell activated, the Crystal Mask. The here in Exoskeleton set is a reward to players who finish the Plague's End quest and gives you a 25% chance to not be stunned with a failed pickpocket. The outfit also acts like the Black Abyss outfit if owned, which gives you a 5% XP boost like other skilling outfit pieces. The Black Abyss outfit is a reward from Pyramid Plunder, um, so you have to play the minigame in order to get the outfit pieces. The Exo... The Exoskeleton Bracers also act as Gloves of Silence if you already have them unlocked, which gives you a 5% increased pickpocket success rate. The Ardy Cloak 3 is also necessary for this method um, in order to reach 100% success rate. This is obtained from completing the Hard Achievements set for Ardagon, Ar Ardy for short. It provides an increased chance of success when pickpocketing anywhere in RuneScape. If you own the Master Camouflage outfit, it can be worn in place of the Exoskeleton outfit and provides the same boosts, including the Gloves of Silence boost. However, by wearing the outfit, you cannot wear Silverhawk boots and benefit from extra agility XP. So if you're a player trying to level agility through other AFK methods such as thieving, um, you will not want to wear the Master Camouflage outfit. I also choose to have a Magpie summoned or Magpie summoned while I do this method. Though I'm not sure if it is actually necessary with the aura active in order to hit 100% success rate, but the Magpie Familiar provides an invisible plus 3 boost to the thieving skill, which is definitely worth using if your 5 finger discount aura is on cooldown. Without the 100% success chance, your XP per hour drops significantly, but you should still expect to get around 500,000 XP per hour pickpocketing these crux knights. So if you're missing any of these boosts or unlocks, just know it's still a very good method to do. If you find that you just aren't able to achieve decent XP rates, then perhaps switch to pickpocketing bandits in the desert bandit camp. These are easily the most AFK method and provide 350,000 XP per hour. So to begin, gather your thieving equipment and resources and head to the Garden of Karid. Here is a map to show you where it is. Either use the L Karid Lodestone and run north up to it, or use the Varrock Lodestone to run southeast. Um, you can also use a Dungeoneering Cape to teleport to the resource dungeon just to the west of it. Otherwise, the way everybody should be getting there, and you will definitely be using this once you've done this method, is using a Mystical Sand Seed to teleport directly there. If you don't already have one, um, you can buy them off the Grand Exchange for like 5,000 coins, they're super cheap now. Um, otherwise they are a, uh, classified as a very rare drop from the pickpocketing of the Crux Knights, so you'll get one in no time if you don't already have one. Let's head there now. Alright, so your inventory should look basically like mine. Now I'm using an elemental battle staff in order to save runes for the 
crystal mask spell. Um, summon your mag P familiar for the plus three invisible boost. Um, we'll turn on the light form prayer on the ancient curses. Press that crystal mask. Aura management, we will go to the legendary five finger disc count, which will give us a 15% success rate boost for the hour. Already cloak three. And so it's literally just AFK. <laughs> Click right on him. You're good to go. So this method again is 830,000 XP per hour. Um, it's definitely the method that everybody should be using ever since this was unlocked. It, it, it is the best method. Um, you will be getting anima stones, elemental and catalytic. These can be used in rune crafting to give you multipliers and better runes. Um, you are going to get a ton of seeds from this method and GP. Probably should have emptied my pouch to show you guys just how much you can get, but um, yeah, so pretty AFK. Now I'm only 101, so I got quite a ways to go to get to 120 thieving, but I basically would just do this every hour. I have the aura active in between other bossing or whatnot. You just have to be sure to monitor your prayer, make sure that this doesn't run out, check every five minutes to make sure that the crystal mask that you're re-upping on your your uh, your spell there. So, and if you're watching this video during the birthday buff bonanza community event, uh, definitely take advantage of all, all these bonuses that are happening. Um, devout prayer points don't drain while prayers are active. Uh, definitely activating that for this. Um, because now essentially I will have unlimited prayer. So doing this method, I don't even need to worry about my prayer renewal or anything. It's just keeping my crystal mask up. Um, and this will last forever. Now I also know that later on in this event, should have it up here, we have a kleptomaniac skill where pickpocketing never fails. That'll be on the 10th of January. So definitely keep that in mind for, for the 10th. Now, if you are, uh, if you're watching this on the 8th, 9th, or 10th, leading up to this day, or being on this day, definitely take advantage of pickpocketing never fails. So you're able to do this without any of the skill requirements. You could show up at level 83 and just grind out 99 and super quick with that 830,000 XP rate per hour. So definitely take advantage of that, guys. So this method is a very simple, easy guide. Um, Basically, the hardest part of this method is just getting all of the necessary equipment and gear for this. Once you have it, it's just spending the hours and hours of grinding. There's not a whole lot to it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.